Yes. What you got on the field? Uh, well, like you said, I came in late in the season. But uh, overall, last year I was just trying to uh, focus on getting down, picking up the tempo of the game of college football and just making sure I had learned what I needed to do. And I think I got a pretty good grasp of it. How cool is it now. to play college football, transitioning from high school where you might be the best at on the field to be playing college where everyone's such a great athlete? No, it's way different. Uh, I wouldn't say it's that much harder. It's just that you're playing against people that has just as much talent as you, if not even better, bigger, stronger, and faster. In high school, you kind of got a, a little of edge if, where you'll probably be, you can win off athletics, but in college, you're soon gonna have to come down to your workload and what you're doing to become uh, to the top. What's, what was the hardest part about adjusting for you? Uh, the tempo. Tempo? Yeah. What, did you have to do anything special for that, or did you just have to continuously get snaps and reps? It's just uh, reps, and just comes along with experience and getting reps and progresses over the time, you get used to it. Was it nice to be able to come in? I think you and Jake started around the same time you got injected. Is it nice to have a quarterback that you kind of came in with and started with and now play and could be starting together this year? Yes, uh, that's very nice. Uh, I actually played against Jake when I was little in middle school in basketball and football. So uh, pretty good having him. Um, his uh, dad is my coach. And uh, they don't have a father-son relationship or nothing like that. Not that I was saying that, but I'm saying pretty nice having a great quarterback beside us. And I think with more experience with him, uh, the week out, it'll make us all better. When did you play against Jake? You said middle school. Was it uh, what high school or what school did you guys play? I played at Bernard Middle School. And he played at, I want to say, D.R. Hill, I want to say. Yeah, D.R. Hill. Yeah. What was yeah. that like? Play? Did you know? how good of an athlete he was or did you know how good of an athlete you were? Well, I first played him in basketball. I didn't really know like his name in particular, but I first played him in basketball. They beat us by like 40 points. Uh, they had ran this press, one press, and boxing one, not a boxing one, like a diamond press or something. But then I didn't really figure out it was that I was playing against him until when I got to school and then his dad told me. Who was a uh, better basketball player? Me. You guys play now? Like we play sometimes at the Strong, but Jake never plays. Jake, you nah, Jake right? don't come over there. Yeah, he don't never come over there and play. But we play like every once in a while, trying to get over there and have a pickup game and not, whatnot. What's the potential for this offense this year? You guys return a lot of skill position players. Well, I think we got the potential to score a bunch of points because we got a bunch of weapons. And three good running backs, a good core receivers. Like you said, you mentioned Jake, great quarterback. O-line looking um, way more improved than last year with the new coach coming in, Coach Walker. And I think we have a, a lot of potential. Coach Westchamp said earlier that who's going to start a running back it depends on practice and who plays the best in practice. What's your mindset going out there knowing you have two other guys that you know, you're competing with playing time? Right? My mindset is like you said, I'm competing with them. I'm just coming out there to do my job and do what I can do best that day and every day, just competing. How good is this running back core with you, Tyson? Um, like I mentioned before, uh, very good. I think we got a bunch of weapons. Like I said, three good running backs and good receivers. But the running back core in particular, I think we got, we all complement each other, and I think it should work real well. Gamecock fans haven't seen Tyson yet play because uh, he transfer rules made him sit out last year. Just what does he bring to the table that South Carolina fans may not know about? Uh, I think me and Tyson have a pretty good, uh, pretty similar running style, but he brings. Uh, I think what I like about him is his ability to run east and west and then get north and south. Um, like you say, he brings the same thing, size, speed, all the same things that AJ and that Mika bring, but he's just good at what he do. In terms of pressure, and the defense is kind of young this year, there's a lot of unknowns. Is there a pressure on the offense to maybe score a little bit more than y'all did last year, or is it just more of a pressure going out there and playing college? Uh, we're just going out there to play. I don't think we have pressure. We got Scott Moore coming back on the defense, uh, and a bunch of guys. We got a bunch of returning starters as well too. So I think with experience, that we should be more improved. What's a successful season for you guys? Uh, successful season? I don't know. You guys have any goals in it? SEC. Uh, successful for us is SEC East and uh, getting to Atlanta and winning uh, the state. That's a, that's our uh, success, uh, but. Other than that, I don't know what y'all would call success, but that's for us.
And last question, I know football players like to eat. Uh, just what are some of your favorite places to eat in Colombia? And how, how often do you guys go to like all you can eat behind? Uh, my favorite place to eat down here would be uh, Rockaways. I like burgers and chicken, zestos. I eat things like that. See, I'm not a healthy eater, so <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if y'all want to tell y'all that, but yeah, I like stuff like that, burgers and chicken, but those are my two favorite places. Appreciate it, Rico. You too.